guys um this is a not a tutorial as such but i had a request um to show how i do my hair on on my pictures um and i've got this picture um which i i know this is blurry and i'm really sorry um i've got this picture which i have finished all apart from her hair um so i thought i would use this as a um reference of how i do the hair right now the colors i've got are black because she's having black hair so i have black i have 90 percent warm gray i have 70 percent warm gray i have 50% warm grey and 30% warm grey. Now I'm going to take the warm grey, which is the, I'm going to do this in sections. Um, the warm grey, which is um, the lightest, and I am just going to go all over um, around the flower with the 30% warm grey just going to go lightly all over going round the flowers and things onto the ends there and these bits so this is just the base layer um, for all the other colours really these are individual strands. We're going to show you how I do all the hair and the plait and everything as well. But we're just going to do this in sections, guys. Um, which is the easiest way to do it, really. Um, with this camera. because It has to be close up because you're not going to see what I'm doing otherwise. Um, otherwise I could show you the whole picture. But can't do that. Right, that's the 30% warm grey. Now I'm going to take my black. And where the dark lines are, I'm just going to do strokes where it's coming, where the dark lines are. I'm just going to do strokes all the way down. And then when you go to this side, you go up. So you go down from the top and up from the bottom. And you just gently go in strokes. So this bit is a bit shaded by the flower. So that's going to be a bit darker there anyway. But it is darker. The artist has left it there. Um, there's a bit here under her chin. I'm going to do that dark. Um, now there are some highlights in it. There's not many on this bit, but the other side there is. So that bit's darker there. That's darker there. Anywhere that you think would be a little bit darker, you do in the black. And obviously coming up from that, it's going to be a little bit darker as well where the flower is. And in between the flower and in there as well. Right, and then the next one I'm going to do is the 90% warm grey. And I'm going to go over where I did the black. And slightly, a little bit further out. Not too much, but a little bit. So up from the bottom... And down from the top, remember. Right, so we go up from here. And there. And in between there, dark bits. Dark bit there that goes up. That bit comes down. That bit comes down so you can see sort of where the strands are coming up and down. So 
Now these will obviously be darker here because these are just just sort of behind and you can't really flick on them bits but you can on these bits and obviously it's darker there where it goes in and the next one I'm going to do is a 70% and I'm going to do exactly the same thing with that one bringing it down a little bit further each time a little bit up there, a little bit down there well, there's not too many highlights left in these bits really, it's mostly on these bits here um, but we want to leave that tiny bit of highlight um, in it we don't want to go completely and fill it up so up from the bottom and down from the top bits now the artist has drawn obviously bits where it is darker and where it is lighter so where it's darker you go darker and where it's lighter you just leave that little bit there all right and then we go in the last one is the 50 percent warm gray and we do exactly the same you just need strokes like flicks and up this way and up there up there a bit leave that little bit of white down here and one of these ones down here now you do go over the whole lot again but just bringing it a little bit further down each time um, so where the white is like here and here and here you leave the white white and you just bring the dark up and in a little bit further each time until you've um, sort of done all the bits you need to do I know I've gone over there I'm terrible for that but I'll sort that out later um, so yeah that's that bit and then the last bit is you go back to your 30% and you just sort of fill in where the bits are left highlighted the white bits so you just sort of Fill that in, even though we've done it already, you go over it again. You don't go over all of the picture, just the bits where the white are. So like here, is, there's the white bit there. Um, I'm sorry, I'm at a funny angle here. Um, just over the white bits that have been left white. Um, and that just sort of blends that... that um, highlighted bit it blends it in to the rest of the hair so it doesn't look you know out of place or odd or whatever it just sort of blends that bit in um, together right that's one part um, so these bits are her highlighted bits um, right now we'll do what should we do now do the top of her head there and her hair, her fringe. Um, now we're going to do exactly the same as we did before. So we're going to go lightly all over with 30%. So you, you can do this any colour you like. Um, some, you don't have to even have all the same colours. These are just the colours that I use for my black hair. Um, but I mean, say if you were doing red hair, I mean, you could have red, you could have orange, um, some brown in there, um, all sorts of different colours. 
um, you would uh, you would put in there. And I'm gonna sort of just go over this bit here um, and these bits here. We can see them, can't we? So we'll include them in there as well. All right. Now back to our black and. What you could do actually as well is when you're finished just go over again with some black and that will just bring that black you know hair back so right what we'll do is we'll go down there up there up there down there so there's not a lot of to work with with these bits because it's not very much but you can see that the, you know there has been a highlight left round there so we have got to do that bit so down from the top and up from the bottom and these bits, these bits here we can see, so we're just going to do where they are black. We're going to go down with them. They are all black there, bits that we can see there. And the highlight is just across the front there, so I'm just going to go like this. And I'm going to bring, I think, this fringe a little bit further just because I don't want a great big you know bald patch for her in the middle there right that's the black done again now we need the 90% so you go with the lightest one all over and then you start from dark back to the light again so you use your black then you go your darkest which is 90% and a little tiny bit further because we haven't got so much to play with on this and we've got more pencils to get in there so we don't want too much in there just a little bit just a tiny bit further than we went last time and don't make these all even because you don't want a stark line where they start and they finish um, you just want a line, but it, a sort of jagged line. You know, you don't want, um, nobody has hair that's um, the, you know, the line highlight doesn't hit and straight across in a line. Right, it's the 90% and we go to the 70%. So you want to just sort of make these, you know, different levels um different heights so all different some you can join up like that one just did some you can just leave some you can just do one you know a bit higher but there's no sort of right or wrong way i mean this is just how i do hair um you know i've picked up things on the way and other people do it different. I know I've gone over, I'll sort that out later. Um, you know, other people do theirs different to me. Um, and that's that's fine, everybody should do theirs different. Um, you know, there is no right or wrong way. You, you will, you know, just sort of find your own way. Um, 70%, so what are we looking for now? 50, aren't we? 50, that's the one we want. So back to the 50. And put some of that in there as well. Because we want a little bit of each pencil in there. And then we also want to see a nice highlight as well. But there is no right or wrong way, basically. Um, you know, everybody, it, it, it just amazes me that everybody learns the same thing, 
um, but they all do it differently. It's a bit like handwriting, I suppose. You know, everybody learns their alphabet and how to read and write. And But, you, you know, you study handwriting and everybody's is totally different. Even though they've learned exactly the same thing as everybody else, um, it still turns out different. Um, and to me, that's just, that's just, you know, amazing how how it does that. Um, so then, and it's the same, it's exactly the same um, with art. Everybody will learn the same thing, but it still comes out differently. So, yeah, I, you know, I'm, I, it still amazes me. Right, I'm back to my 30% now, which I'm just going to do lightly over the highlight there. Like so. Now you don't have to use Prismas for this. I am using Prismas um, <clears throat> basically just because I use Prismas on the rest of the um, image. And I do, although I do use different mediums, I, I don't tend to use different mediums too often on the same picture. Um, and I, I'm not sure why that is. It's just it's just how I am. I don't I don't um, tend to do that. I mean, I know other people use lots and lots of different mediums. But I think if I'm um, showing somebody how I do it, um, this is how I do it. I just use one medium. I mean, I might use pastels on the background, for instance, or something. But I don't generally tend to um, use different pencils on my pages for instance um, I tend to use all the same ones so I'm going to just show you how I do it and this is how I do it um, right now I've done that I am just going to go in again with the black and I am just going to go in again just to darken the black up We've still got our highlight there. Don't want to go over that, but I just want to darken up the bits that are black. Because they do get a bit dulled after they've been gone over with the other pencils. We still want to keep our highlight, of course. So I'm not going to go over that bit. But yeah, I mean, and I don't know if that's helpful for you guys. Um, I, I suppose it probably would be, um, because some a lot of you, you know, if say if I did, I don't know, half luminance, half prismas, half um, Pablo's or something on a page, you might not have all them pencils, but you might have, you know, um, you might have prismas, or you might have polys and. You know, I, I want to show you how I do it, um, and this is how I do it, and I th I think, for me, it's easier to st stick to the same pencil brand all the way through, and that's how I've always done it, I've not, you know, I've never sort of swapped pencils. So I hope that's helpful for you guys, because if you've got, the certain pencil that I'm working with you know you don't want to see me halfway through change to another pencil which you haven't got and then you think oh well now what do I do um so you know so from the beginning you know exactly you know where you where you stand whether you've got that pencil whether you haven't um but then also you don't have to be using the same pencil as me um you can um pick you know um similar colors in different brands um so you don't have to be using the exact colors that, that I am right we're going to move down to this bit of the hair there you can just about see the top can't you I think. right we'll go down to there so I'll do this with the 30% grey, warm grey, sorry. So 
So I would go all over with the 30% there. Like so. Um, this picture, no, it's nearly finished. I'm not sure if I'm, what I'm going to do, if anything, for the background for this. Um, but it will be on Instagram. So if you want to see um, the completed picture of this, um, you can see it on Instagram um, when I finish the hair. Um, and then it's totally up to you, you know, whether you want to do it exactly the same or do it different. Or, But this is just you know how I do my hair anyway so all over with that got to keep an eye on the time so I really don't want this to just cut out on you before I've you know finished it all over um right there I don't know if I'll get all this done but I will try to be as quick as I can right back to our black now we've already done the top which is there um there's a little bit here what i want to pull down because there is dark sort of all the way through these you know wispy bits here um and so we go down from there up from there that's gonna stay black and that bit i hope you can see these bits here so in these bits here, you can see that they are inner bits of her hair they would be dark it's going to be dark at the top here coming from there it's going to be dark that bit there um, that bit's dark that bit's dark that bit's dark but you go up from these bits it's got a big bit of highlight on there this bit's going to be dark because they're all behind the hair um just trying to see how far you can see like these bits are going to be dark as well them bits are going to be dark and you just you know flick them up down and then you flick up from the bottom Right, there we go. Back to our 90% on grey. Um, I did the black on that one, didn't I? So I'm just going to take this out a little bit here. Just so it goes in with that. And got a bit there. That's dark. Just move it a tiny bit, just a little bit further than we had took the bit before, so that can all go up. And these ones go down. Right back to our seventy percent warm grey. And we'll do the same there. This page is moving. Need some little clips or something to put on them, really. Right. So you can see what I'm doing. Exactly the same on each bit. 50% do this all different lengths so some are longer some are shorter it have to all be the same it's better if you do them all different I'm not talking to you Lily you just tried to bite my wire Right, what was that? 50% wasn't it? So we go back down to the 30 and we'll just, where the highlight bits are, where we left them, we'll just go in and do them in the grey. And this biggish bit here, 
we don't want it to be too white oh I don't like it too white anyway should I say so I'm just going to go all over that I know I'm going over but I'm gonna gonna get rid of all them bits later I haven't got time to be doing that now. Right, and then I'm just going to go over again. Just to darken up the black areas. Because they get a bit dulled under all that. So I'm just going to go in again with the black. And bits here for now I'm gonna just concentrate on the plaque for you um, and we'll start where we ended there the wispy bits um, there is some wispy bits there but I will I will do them I will do them later um, I think I'm gonna go from the bottom this time I'm gonna go from the bottom there we go um, because I want actually to show you the, um, how I do the actual plait as well. So, it's showing you how I do straight hair. I've just shown you that bit. Um, and I'm going to show you how you do, how I do, um, a plait. Um, so you can see this first one. And I'll show you the second one I'm just gonna go in with my black same as we did before that was a bit darker because that's in there and just flick up from the bottom like that back to 90% go over the black Slightly a little bit more out over the black and slightly out. Seventy per cent. Fifty per cent. If you want to see how I do other colours just let me know in the description um, and I can sort that out for you as well I'm dropping on my pencils back over with the 30% filling in that highlight line and just just um, oh, I can't think of my words today what's wrong with me um, just basically blending that in there we go and then just over with the black at the end just get that black color in and bring it out a bit further because it's been dulled slightly so we want to bring that out again Like that. And let me go over to the plat. I'm trying to get it so you can see quite a bit of it. Right, there we go. So over with the grey, 30%. All over these bits. You can see them bits, aren't they? to there that's cool right so 
way we can see up to here. So we'll start there then. We're going to bring it down just where it's showing us where the dark bits are right at the top. Um, and just at the top here and this bit here. And you can see where there's some darker bits. Um, as the plaque folds in it's going to be darker on the inside so these bits go up and then bits come down and the same with this one we go down with these bits here and that bit there down with these bits now the highlight's a bit different on this because of the plait, the way the plait lays. The highlight goes a bit different, so where it tucks in, it's naturally going to be a bit darker. And the same with this one. So it's going to be slightly darker there. I'll sort all the bits out where I've gone over later. I won't worry about this, I'm just showing you basically, but I can sort that out later. And up from the bottom and in the middle is going to be darker, so you sort of go in the middle. And then the bottom one's the same. You go down from these bits, up from the middle of them bits, up there. That's going to be a bit darker, then you come down there to meet up, like so. Right, back to around 90%. And we're just going to bring it out slightly further. Not too much further, just a little bit. And up there with that one. And on that one. You can forget these tiny bits. Down these bits, up them bits, and darken it up in the middle because the highlights are on these bits here, on the s bits that stick out, which is where the light would catch them because they are the highest bits. Now, some of these are already darkened right inside, which they would be naturally because they're tucked in. They're going to be a lot darker than the other bits. And the light is going to catch the bits that are at the highest point. Which is the bits that are on the top of it. Right, 70%. Oh, sorry. I nudged the camera then. I'm going to see. Maybe you can still see. Okay, what I'm doing this is bouncing up and down a bit, I know. I'm sorry. I'm trying to hold the book open for you so you can see properly. Right up there, up down there. Up the middle bit. Yeah, I will put this picture. Um, on Instagram when I've done um, it's going to be probably in my March um, completed books so completed pages should I say not books right what we have at 70 so we now have on 50 which is that one and do oh, my goodness. I'm just gonna hold it straight for you, it's not helping, is it? Honestly. So exactly the same thing with that one. And we just leave that little bit of white. And I know my pencils are getting a bit blunt. I'm gonna have to get hubby to sharpen them again for me. So But it's still okay, we can do it. We can do it. And just bring it a bit down. Bring that a bit up. 
the leaf and our little highlight bit. There's a highlight on the end of that little bit there. Keep that as well. So go up. Alright, 50, right, we'll go back to the 30% and over the white bits, because we don't want them exactly white, um, although we have gone over this once, we only went over it very lightly, so, but this also helps, sort of helps to blend the bits together that you left, so they don't look, you know, so sort of standout-ish, so it also sort of helps to blend them in a bit as well. So, like so. This probably looks awful close up, but to me it looks, it looks, it looks fine in reality. Um, but this is the dilemma I had, do I do it on the high tripod, where you're not going to be able to see exactly what I'm doing or do I do it on the close-up where you can have a bird's eye view so I opted for this right over with the black a bit more just to touch up so we bring that down all different levels and up from the bottom And where we've done it dark, but I always like to do sort of a dark. Um, you can see we can see where he's left it dark, but there's always going to be bits that are folded in with a plait, and they will be darker anyway. Um, the bits that are folded in, like so. They are going to be darker there where they are folded in. Like so. Let's if we get these bits that are folded in because they're naturally going to be darker. But I hope you just get the gist of this anyway. So of how to do flat hair and how to do plaited hair. So it looks slightly different um, on a plait because obviously the dark bits are where it's folded in. Um, just go over with these again. It just sort of blends it all in together a bit more. Right, that probably looks awful to you close up, but in reality it looks absolutely fine. Apart from the bits where I've gone over, but I can sort that later. And how are we for time? 38 minutes. I, I don't think I'm going to get this um, bit done in 38 minutes or 39 minutes because the camera's just going to cut off. But I hope that was okay for you. So you've seen how I do the top um, of the hair in black. Um, and you coming down that bit of the plait, I'll finish off on my own time. And you can see the plait there at the bottom. Um, now I hope I hope that's okay for you. I hope that's um, hope you like the picture. It's um, an Asian lady, girl. So obviously I um, did. This looks a lot better in real life than what it looks like on here. Um, 
I did an Asian skin tone. Um, it looks quite dark here on here, to be honest, but it doesn't look that dark in real life. Um, but there we go. So that's how I do my black hair. If you'd like to see how I do any other colour hair, um, just let me know um, and I can do that for you. Um, so yeah, there we go guys. Um, hope you enjoyed that. Um, hope to see you next time. Anything you want to see, just let me know. Thanks guys. Bye.